Let's find the oxidation number for the carbon here in CHCl3. This is called trichloromethane. Also, chloroform is kind of the more common historical name here. So the first thing we notice, there's no negative or positive after the compound. So it's neutral. When we have a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. So that's kind of important. We don't know what the carbon will be, so let's call that X. But hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals like carbon here, that's going to be plus one. So we put a plus one here. And then chlorine, chlorine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A, and it's negative one most of the time, except when it's bonded to oxygen or fluorine. Here, we don't have any oxygen or fluorine, so each chlorine is going to be negative one. So since the whole thing is going to equal zero, since it's a neutral compound, we can just make up an equation here. X plus one minus one times three is going to equal zero. So negative three and one, that gives us negative two. X minus two equals zero. So X, that'll equal a positive two. So the oxidation state here for the carbon in CHCl3, that's going to be plus two. And if you add up all the numbers, it'll equal zero. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for the carbon here in trichloromethane, also called chloroform. Thanks for watching.